back in another former year's favorites. I finally got a chance to wear my new gingerbread earrings. I got these in the little kids section at Target. Fancy, fancy, I know. I did try to put quite a few products from this 2019 favorites video on my face. Honestly, the lips are feeling a little dry. The skin feels a little heavy, but this was 2019. This was the year Scott and I moved into our house. This was the year we went on our last vacation, not realizing, well, the last vacation, just the two of us, not realizing it was going to be the last vacation, just the two of us, because fun fact, we'd always planned to get pregnant in 2020, hoping to get pregnant in 2020, but we still had one last vacation planned in May and that was supposed to be our last vacation. That never happened, so. Canada, maybe I still will visit you one day. But yeah, let's just get into this. I didn't have any primers, but I did have two, three, four, four foundations. I kind of did like a top of like different types of foundations, but I guess like the first one I talked about was like my favorite, like full coverage, just like glam makeup. It's the one I'm wearing right now. It's the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. This one I did put in my products I went to fully finish in 2023. It's been moved around, but settled. It's about this much product left. It is a little bit more full coverage. I definitely think like on camera, this one really, really looks good. Like I feel like I look airbrushed. It really, really does like, it's just a nice looking product. However, I don't really like this much coverage anymore especially in the summertime like this is something i feel like yeah this time of year it's starting to get colder yeah i'm okay wearing a little bit more coverage but overall it's funny in the it's funny because in the video i was talking about that they sold this in minis now <laughs> and like when i finished this i was gonna get two small like two minis of different colors so i could like shade match myself throughout the year and it's just like no thank you <laughs> no thank you i think once i finish this i'll be done i know there's a newer one a newer radiant formula that they came out with that sounds really nice but again like i don't know if i'll be getting it this is my favorite high-end foundation i've ever like personally purchased the next was my favorite long wearing foundation and honestly i feel like this is still really a very good product it's the l'oreal fresh wear i've gone through one or two of these before i have this in more like a self tan shade it's a little deeper than my natural skin tone but the l'oreal fresh wear is like really good if you need something to last a long time like especially in the summer when you're like a little more moist let's just say this is like a really good wedding foundation like i'm going out all night partying don't want to have to touch up it's not something i'm wearing like every day these days but i really still do like this foundation a lot the next two i do not have with me the first is the makeup revolution conceal and hydrate foundation i said that was my favorite dewy foundation i'm very certain i decluttered this in my foundation declutter this past year i liked it it's just a little bit heavier and I was trying to like really consolidate my collection. I had so many foundations and I hadn't used that one in so long. And it was like a very self tan shade and I just couldn't wear it unless I was like super self tanned. And I really don't wanna wear that much coverage in the summer when I'm naturally tan. And it just was like, it was too much work and it was like almost three years old at this point. So I parted ways with that. I think it's a fine foundation, but I don't really miss it. The other one I had was the Neutrogena Anti-Aging Perfector foundation. I said it was my favorite tinted moisturizer. I definitely got that on Samantha Marsh's recommendation. I haven't tried a Neutrogena foundation in a while and I really am tempted to. I actually decluttered that and I didn't declutter it. I actually gave it to my mom when I was pregnant because I was like, there's retinol in it. I don't know when I'll be able to use this again. So I just gave it to her. So I haven't seen it since 2020. <laughs> I don't know if I would get it again. I feel like there's newer formulas in Neutrogena that I have interest in, but I definitely would like to try a Neutrogena foundation again. If you have a favorite, leave it down below. Okay, next we talked about concealers and I was going on and on about how I just want hydration under my eyes and honestly, I still feel that way. So the first, I actually don't have any of these concealers. I've been really working through my concealers. I don't think I bought any concealers this year in the year 2022 because I've been trying to finish up so many. First one I have was the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. I know I've gone through two full sizes of that. I don't even think they make this formula anymore. I did like that concealer. It was a little bit more lightweight, but it definitely was more hydrating than some of the thicker, more shape tapey types of concealers. I don't know if I would have bought it again if it still was available, but you know, I did fully go through one at one point and then I went and bought it again. So it's hard to talk about things that don't exist anymore as far as like how I feel about them. Let's see, next I had the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. So that was the concealer version of the foundation. I feel like I did use up at least three. I wanna say I went through three of those concealers. 
I actually did like that one. That one was like moisturizing, but it was actually thicker. So it had a decent amount of coverage for also not being the most drying concealer. So I actually didn't mind that one. Oh, those were all the concealers. <laughs> Just those two. Okay, two powders. First one was the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Interesting for talking about wanting hydration and then talking about this one. This is a fine powder. I've actually never bought this. Every single one of these I've ever gotten has been like a sample, a free sample. I used it today, I don't know. I don't think it's like the most revolutionary thing these days. I did also put this in my things I wanna, not things, products I wanna pan next year video, but I mean, I like the Laura Mercier powder, but I feel like, again, the world of makeup is so large right now, like it's easy to find, I feel like a good setting powder and you don't really have to pay for Laura Mercier to get that. The next is a product I finished this year and it is the Physicians Formula Healthy Powder. This is my empty pan. I actually upstairs have a brand new pan untouched. I found it at TJ Maxx when they were discontinuing this powder. I still like this powder, I'm not gonna lie. In the video I said it was the best powder of my entire life. I was never gonna have to try another powder again because this was so good. Maybe a little bit dramatic. Honestly, my favorite powder right now is from Becca. <laughs> and of course, like the pan keeps getting bigger and bigger and I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I really do like this powder. I'm gonna use my other one, but <laughs> I feel like I was a little too excited about this powder in the video. Next, I had one brow product and it was the LA Girl Shitty Slim Brow Pencil. I actually don't have any in my collection right now, but I've gone through so many of those pencils before. It's a fantastic drugstore pencil, very affordable. I would still recommend that one. I just haven't had it in a while because I have so many brow pencils. Like I'm trying to just finish up what I have. Next I had two bronzers the first actually were these but these both might have been in the 2018 video i'm fairly certain they both were the first was the um bomb take home the bronze bronzer this is a product that i have in my again products i want to finish next year it's the only bronzer i no i think i have two bronzers with pans right now but i want to see if i can fully use this one up next year i do really like this one but again i think this has been discontinued <laughs> the other is this one from bh cosmetics the golden gal in their brilliance bronzer line this even before the takeover that bh cosmetics had this past year i think they discontinued this like a couple years ago i like this bronzer it's a little bit more i think it's like i don't think it's matte like i said it's golden it has like a shine to it this one i tried to show in the last video that like you can kind of see the ring pattern so there must be like we must be really close to the pan so maybe i'll try to hit pan in it next year i had two face palettes the first was the park the park the tarte park avenue princess palette i lusted after this palette for so long and i was so excited to get it in a boxy luxe box and it smelled so good. There was one shade in it called Princess Cut. I loved this bronzer, but the palette was this big and the bronzer was this small and it was just so much. So I wound up giving that one away to someone, <laughs> but I still really do love that palette. It, it does make me sad that I got rid of it, but I didn't need it. However, the other face palette is one of the very few um, like full face palettes with like products, like all the products I kept. And today I'm wearing the bronzer and contour from it. And it's the Cali Contour Palette. Is that what this is called from Smashbox? I did use the bronzer and the contour in this palette today. I still really think this is a very good quality product. <laughs> I don't have too many products from Smashbox that I bought myself. I basically really have this and the pearl highlighting palette, but I still do like this. Like I said, I used it today and I thought it still works great. On to blushes. I had the Bare Minerals Gen Nude blushes. I don't know if they still have the Gen Nude line from Bare Minerals, but I do have that peach though and Let's Go Nude. I do have Let's Go Nude on today. These are just matte blush formulas i have used bare mineral products since high school i'm a big fan of the products my mom uses a lot of bare minerals i was thinking let me know what you think of asking my mom to like she has a lot of makeup too to like put together a bag of makeup for me to use in a video but like i'm not gonna look at what she gives me beforehand and then try to do my makeup with her makeup give me some feedback on that oh next was this duo from jouet i was so excited that they came out with a mini duo because the bigger duos were so much more money and this is their rose gold duo it has the shades marigold and rose petal these are actually really nice quality matte blushes i still use them fairly often and i think this palette is actually still for sale i had the <laughs> color pop blush sticks i have this in the shade hooked i did use this today but let me just tell you something. I was like talking about how pigmented this was and that why that's why I loved it so much because you could really see the blush on my face when I wore this. And I'm just like, girl, if only you knew how much more pigmented cream blushes could get. This is not the most pigmented one of all. But at the time I was 
I was loving it. I still do like this, but I don't think it's like the end all be all of cream blushes these days. Highlighters. Ofra Star Island was one of my favorite highlighters of the year. I don't really wear highlighter that much anymore, but I do have this palette in this shade here, I think. Yeah, this is Star Island. I've since declared most of my Ofra highlighters since I do have this one palette. I don't wear them too often because they're just so blinding and I just don't want to look blinding these days. So I kind of keep this for a special occasion, but it's not like a favorite anymore. This from Glam Glow. Do they even do makeup or they just did this one random highlighter palette? Um, I mixed these two shades today. That is any glow you see is coming from this. I always liked this because I felt like it looked really natural and one of those things with like when skincare brands make makeup, I feel like they make it so that it does look a little bit more natural. Yeah, I really do still like this one. Eyeshadow palettes. First is Natasha Denona. Let's see, mini nude palette. This one is very loved. I cannot open it or I think shadows will just start spilling all over the floor. This is a very well used palette. Actually, I think this is the only eyeshadow pan I have in my entire collection. So I feel like that says a lot. Next, I have the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. I wanted to keep this one in my declutter, but I wound up not keeping it because something else I owned was very similar and that something else is in this video, you will see soon. The ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. This is probably my second favorite ColourPop palette. I really like this one. I think it's beautiful. I recommend it. I don't know if it's still for sale. Then I had the Orange You Glad, which not a very colorful eyeshadow palette person, but I will say this is a very good colorful eyeshadow palette, in my opinion. Like, I feel like I even could make something wearable out of this, which I can't say about a lot of my colorful palettes. Then the last palette is the one that was very similar to Smoky Obsessions. It's the one I'm wearing today, and it's the ABH Sultry palette. This is the only Anastasia palette I've ever owned. And today I mixed, let's see what, I used Bloom, Birch, Twig, and Dystopian, and then I used Pearl and Cinder. Like I used a lot of shades in today's look. This is a really, really nice quality palette. I'm very happy to have it. It was a very similar color story to the Huda Beauty one, so I did declutter that one. And I had this as my setting spray. So this one is actually really, really low. I mean, that's all the product that's left in, the, in it. This is the Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha and Vitamin D Chill Mist. So I think this is a nice mist. However, I haven't been using it this year as setting spray. I keep it in my bathroom for like when I want to just like touch up, especially on days when I'm not wearing makeup and I just want to like put a little freshness on my face. That's what I've been using this for. Funny enough, not so much for makeup, but I'm sure I can finish this one off very shortly. I still think it's nice, but I'm not running out to buy it if I run out of this. All right, now I had lots of mascara things. So first was Thrive. Thrive is what I'm wearing today. This is my third or fourth Thrive. I can't remember. Probably fourth. I love Thrive mascara. It's the first time I've really gotten to use and work with a tubing mascara. I find it super easy to use. Normally I can get it at some some way or another through Ipsy. Like I said, this, this one is still in my collection and I will get it again at some point once I run out. The next one was the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. I haven't used that one since last year. I think I had one last year and spoiler alert, my December Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I did choose this as one of my choices for the month, so I will be getting it again. It is a mascara I like. I'm very picky about mascaras, and this happens to be one that I like because it does not transfer in smudge, which is my biggest pet peeve. I had the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara. I can't remember if I went through one or two of those, but it's a nice um, drugstore mascara, especially I don't have to worry about, again, smudging and flaking, but Maybelline Sky High has definitely replaced it as my favorite drugstore mascara. I had the CoverGirl Lash Primer. I have gone through two of those. I do like them, but it's kind of an extra step in my process that I just don't feel like dealing with, especially these days, so I haven't gotten it again. Then lip products. I had the Hourglass Lip Gloss. Oh my God. I got this for free from Sephora. I loved it, used it all the time. And then I went on the Disney cruise and I somehow got some sort of an infection on my lips. They were like big, like I got lip injections, but really bad ones that made my lips really big. When I got medicine for it, the doctor basically said I had to throw out any lip products I had been using, including my hourglass lip gloss, which I never bought again because it was so expensive, but it was such a nice lip gloss, so it makes me angry. I had like 3 million shades of the Ofra liquid lipstick. In my liquid lipstick though declutter, most of them were expired, like 
really bad, but I did wind up keeping Manila and Pasadena here. Literally besides that Ofra product, everything here is a liquid lipstick. So it's not like my most worn products these days, but it makes sense, especially when I was going into work, you know, four to five days a week. I was usually throwing on a liquid lipstick in the morning. Then I had the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I have two of these as well. I have Nude Mood and Lazy Daisy. Again, these are good. I mean, they survive my declutter. I do like the formula. I don't even know what's going on with Dose of Colors. Do they still exist? I feel like they do, but I don't hear much about them anymore. Then the lip good lipstick I am wearing today is from Lawless. And this is the liquid lipstick in the shade George. I really do like this. This is the only product I've ever tried from Lawless, but I do really like this. It's more of like a moussey consistency. Good stuff. Two more products, two more. Next is from M Cosmetics. And this is their liquid lipstick in the shade Rose Nude. I actually wore this out for my sister-in-law's birthday the other night. It's a much thinner liquid lipstick formula, which I really, really like, and it also smells fantastic. I'm realizing the last product in this video I don't have with me. I think it's in a purse. Let me go see if I can find it from a purse. Okay, I just like really quick looked for it and I couldn't find it. It's somewhere, and I know it's somewhere because I do wear it, so it's somewhere. But it's the Revlon HD Matte Lipstick in the shade Seduction. It's a very worn shade by me. I really like it, <laughs> but there you go. That was my 2019 favorites. Let me know what you think. Again, similar to 2018, I feel like I had the majority of these products and once I didn't, it seemed like I had finished more than I had decluttered, which is nice to know that my favorites are kind of staying my favorites. So let me know if you guys like any of these products down below. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below, give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.